those are two of eight, and those are two of my favourite chocolates. currently filming on my phone which is why the quality is a little bit different to usual um because I wasn't prepared to vlog I didn't know that I was going to be vlogging <laughs> until I was driving home from the gym and I thought I'm gonna vlog <laughs> and my camera battery is dead so it's just charging but I thought I'd give you a little haul because I've been up to quite a bit today I coached 5 6 and 9 30 a.m this morning which is so much fun I've been loving coaching like I knew I would like it, I knew I've always like been interested in coaching, but CrossFit coaching specifically at my gym is just so much fun, which is great. Um, and then after class I went to Kmart. I've been loving Kmart so much lately, like this is from Kmart, this is from, actually that's from Target, I lay. Anyway, I'm just picking up random shit on my desk because I have clean clothes folded that I need to put away. <laughs> And it's just a little bit, it's just a lot, it's not. I know why I went to Kmart because I have my, one of my best friends wedding on tomorrow, <laughs> Saturday. And I didn't have anything to wear. I don't have any like wedding appropriate clothes. I have some nice clothes, but they're either white or too short or too casual. So I'll show you what I'm wearing. It's so nice. This. comes down just over my knees it's just a nice little silk satin whatever the word is midi dress and I don't know I love the color I never know what to wear for a wedding well I didn't know it's the only one I've been to that I wasn't a bridesmaid at while well, I'm an adult I went to one <laughs> Ben's brother got married and I was a bridesmaid anyway I also bought it in this white color just for general life obviously not a wedding um i went a size up in this one that one i got an eight and it's like tight around here but not too tight um and it fits me better around my waist and everything the 10 is comfier around here obviously because i got big lats so it's a bit tighter on my muscles but my grandma used to be a seamstress and we love her for that because she alters all my clothes so i'm going to get her to take it in at the waist for me and probably put um I can't remember what it's called, something in the back to like, just like make it a little bit more like form fitting because it's a bit like straight up and down because it's a bit big on me. But yeah, my grandma is amazing and I love her. I bought these, is my address on these? <laughs> Cyclo Capron. Because if you've been following my vlogs, you would know that I've been having issues with my period lately. And I thought it was fixed because I de-stressed and I sat gamsa and I got my period and it was normal um but now I have it again when I'm not meant to get it while my new ring is in which meant to just meant to like you're not meant to bleed you bleed when you take it out um and it's been super heavy and it's to the point where like I just don't know how to deal with it again I mentioned this in my previous vlog so this is meant to reduce the bleeding by like a third um Kind of expensive for something that like I hope I don't have to use. <laughs> so exciting cholesterol tablets because I got I don't know what the word is hereditary high cholesterol. And then these ones are a muscle relaxant, relaxant, and analgesic, which is paracetamol. Um, so I'm going to take them with me tonight when I go to my mum's house because fun story I really aggravated my chest you would have seen that in my last vlog um, and it's that was like two weeks ago now and it's not getting better and I am starting to get like a lot of pain back here like in my scalp because it's overcompensating for my chest um, and I've just been in a lot of pain and nothing helps the doctor that I saw yesterday pretty much said um, the nature of rib injuries pretty much you have to be sedated before you feel pain relief so i said thanks that's really good 
But anyway, I'm trying a muscle relaxant because I haven't tried one of them before. Um, I also got this nail polish. Because if you can't tell... I like a certain colour. I'm a blue gal. And I also got this strengthener. Because if you can see my nail... Bendy. They're just bendy. I don't know. They've always been like that. Like, they grow okay. But they're just bendy. So I need to fix that. Anyway. Oh, I forgot. I went to Gold Mart because I lost my earring that was in here. It was just one of these. These are from Goldmark. The one that was in here was from a different place, but it looked pretty much the exact same. Um, so I have just a random sleeper in there at the moment. And I don't like how it looks. So I just got another one to put in there. It cost me $83. Yeah. Hello and happy Saturday. This is not good lighting. Hi. It is like one o'clock on Saturday and I just got back from the gym. I had work this morning and then I finally got like kind of a good gym session in today. I had a good gym session on Tuesday and then my chest, my rib really flared up on Wednesday to the point where like I was, I can't remember if I've spoken about that before or not, but hopefully it doesn't do that this time. But I've got to really quickly get ready. I've got like just over an hour to get ready for my friend Grace's wedding, which is so exciting. But I need to wash my hair, I need to shower, I need to do my makeup, everything. <laughs> I don't really have time to talk, but... <laughs> okay, we've showered, moisturized our face, and I popped the curl cream in my hair that I got the other day. Because I obviously don't have curls, but I do have waves, and I wanted to bring them out for the wedding and I've never tried this cold cream before so hopefully it's okay this is my new dress from cotton on she slays I need to do my makeup I have near 40 minutes <laughs> there's such a mess shut your mouth don't look at it my eyebrows are not not really cooperating today some days they're just it, and some days they're just not. We're going to do a couple of morning skincare things. My skin feels very dry. I wear SPF on my skin every single day. And as a result, my face is always lighter than my body. So I bought this the other day. Bondi Sands self-tanning face drops with hyaluronic acid and vitamin C to try and make my face match my body. I've been using it for a couple of days and I feel like it has made a pretty good difference. Um, I usually use this Emco hyaluronic acid and vitamin C face serum, which is nice and moisturizing, but I guess it has it in there. So I'm going to put that on this morning it is very runny and it has a very strong fake tan smell anything that goes on your face goes on your neck as well because it needs to blend i'm going to let this soak into my skin and clean up this mess <laughs> later now and I don't know if you can tell but my face is looking more tan I look more white on camera and I'm going to go have lunch with my grandma at her house and since I am leaving to go to the outside world I'm popping on some SPF this is the Mecca Cosmetica SPF 50 skin perfecting sunscreen I actually have a couple of these because I got them as like you know how they get they give you little samples when you buy stuff um and i actually really rate them 
they have like the ever so slightest tint um but once you rub it into your face you don't really get any coverage at all from it but i think it just like kind of hydrates my face and leaves it feeling really nice and obviously protected from the sun <laughs> I just realized I haven't vlogged yet today. It's 8.30. <laughs> and we've just eaten our dinner. We're gonna have some dessert. Didn't do much today. I went to the gym, which you would have seen. And then I came and finished editing my last vlog. And I posted my giveaway tonight, which is scary and exciting. Scary because I'm scared that no one's gonna enter it. <laughs> And then it's just embarrassing. <laughs> but anyway, first of that, went to work. And now I'm here. We had dinner and now we're having dessert. I think I already said that. I'm having a connoisseur salted pretzel. Little ice cream. But I'm also having this mochi. It's pistachio Little Moons one. You gotta let it like sit out of the freezer for a couple minutes before you eat it. Because then it's like a little bit soft inside and it's delicious. I had the mango flavour. I, I usually love pistachio but I'm not sure I'm the biggest fan. It tastes too fake. And I feel like fruity things go better with mochi. Maybe I'll stick to... It was mango passion fruit. It was so good. Nothing compares to the mochi from Asian supermarkets though. They do it the best. But anyway, we're going to eat this and we're watching It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia at the moment. And it's actually quite good. I think it's like an old show. It looks old. It like doesn't fit the screen. It's like narrow for the screen. But it's funny so far, so. The best lunch. I've got to go to work, but it's vermicelli, noodles, rice, chicken, lettuce, avocado, cucumber with oyster sauce, ketchup menace, and the roll Vietnamese sauce that they sell at Coles. It's like a homemade vermicelli salad and it slaps. Good morning. I am making coffee. I just sat outside in the sunshine. Who's surprised? If it's sunny outside, I'm going to be sitting in it, okay? Oh. Right there. 
that's my spot. I sat up there, read my book, had my coffee, and Benny made me a hash brown. I am making myself a coffee. Slay. Loud slay. Are there any beans in there? It doesn't sound like it. Stop. I said stop. <laughs> Where are the beans? Well, just jokes. I really wanted to have like an actual shot of coffee. This grinds up the beans and pours espresso for you. And I've already even put my milk in my ice in my Starbucks cup. So I was gonna have that as like my pre-workout today. I have had one of these, which you guys will know if you watch any of my other vlogs. I love the Nescafe um, cappuccino sachets. I get cappuccino strong or um, caramel latte is also my other favorite one. Sometimes I do both of them in one cup, incredible. Um, and if I need it a bit stronger, I use this Nescafe Gold Short Black. It's like a really strong one, but it's it's a bit more expensive because it's like the gold one. So it's like really yummy. Put that in with that. And yeah, I'm having a piece of toast with strawberry jam on it. I think I might just take this to the gym with me because the gym does delicious coffee. And I'll pour myself <laughs> a shot at the gym and add it in here. It's not full all the way with milk because I like doing some water in there as well because if it's just milk, I don't find it strong enough. So I like a bit of water. So we're gonna put this in the fridge down there and we're gonna remember to get her before we leave for the gym. <laughs> I'm nearly finished my book, finally. I think I've been reading it for like six months because <laughs> When I was studying, I didn't really read and I just go through phases, but I'm finally reading it again. It's the first Game of Thrones book and she's a big one, but we're nearly there, which makes me very happy. I am possibly the happiest person right now because I just did two little workouts and my chest didn't hurt. I did some upper body bodybuilding and then I did a workout with double unders, so skipping, box up overs and air squats, so all lower body. And then I did some bike sprints. I was worried about getting my heart rate up and my chest hurting, but my chest didn't hurt during either of them. It hurts now and it was hurting before I started them, but like it always hurts. So fingers crossed we don't fly up tomorrow. But today has been such a successful day and after so many days of frustration and struggling it's so nice to finally see some improvement currently sitting outside eating my lunch which is a you foods meal it's the creamy mushroom tortellini i think bro i don't usually like many of the you foods meals but this shit there's so many mushrooms in there it slaps. Well, let me just tell you that, okay? What? Okay. I've got to work 11.30 until 6.30 today, which, aside from the fact that I hate working, <laughs> that's kind of a sleigh shift, if you ask me, because I get to have the morning to chill and then I finish at 6.30 and then it's dinner time. I was gonna train today but then I forgot that I had work all day and I only woke up at like 8.40 so I should have woken up earlier to train but I was like oh well I'm just gonna relax. So of course I sat outside and had my coffee this morning and I've just been chilling and I'm gonna make my lunch to take to work with me. It's 10.45 so I've got to leave in half an hour. We're making a yog bowl today. So I have Strawberries were cheap, so I bought three punnets of them. And I haven't been eating them and they're starting to, like, die. Like, they're still obviously fine, but they're not going to last much longer. So, I need to use them up. And I bought yogurt, like, t I don't know how long ago and I haven't even opened it. I, I don't know why I go to the shops and I'm like, I'm going to buy all these things so I'm prepared for lunches. And then... 
I don't even eat them. I don't know what I've been eating, but like, haven't eaten the yogurt, barely eaten my fruit. Well, these two for lunches, haven't cooked them yet. So I just find other stuff to eat. It's not the groceries that I bought. Silly. I think I feel like a pickle. <laughs> As you can probably see, this is just the high protein Greek style yogurt from Coles because it's like the cheapest high protein yogurt you can get. I do love Yopro yogurt, but it's a little more expensive. So I get this yogurt and then I add protein to it. Usually I use the Muscle Nation custard protein because it makes it a really nice texture and it mixes in really well and it's delicious. But I've ran out, so I'm just using regular vanilla whey protein because then it tastes makes it taste better and it's got even more protein in it if i'm doing the um custard protein i add a little bit of milk because otherwise it goes like super super thick um but regular protein i don't really find i need to add milk i'm just going to cut up this apple i like everything that's in there to be cut up nice and small because i want a bit of everything in every bite I'm going to eat these last couple pieces of apple because <laughs> she's pretty full of fruit. And usually I do like muesli or something. Ugh, it's not going to even fit. But I realized that I have these wheat mix that I need to use up. And I should have put them underneath the yogurt. We're just going to crumble them on top. <laughs> should have gotten a bigger container. I'm going to add some sugar-free maple syrup can i just drown the wheat bix in it <laughs> i did want to put nutella in there but she's full to the brim <laughs> hello this is just me jumping on to finish off the vlog i thought i would stop it and restart a new one this weekend because i'm having an exciting weekend down at the beach i was meant to be competing this weekend but i've withdrawn but i'm going down to watch down the coast anyway it's gonna be exciting thank you so much for watching this vlog as always, comment anything that you want to see or any suggestions and I will do my best to provide. <laughs> and make sure you subscribe and follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I'll pop them on the screen. And yeah, thank you. <laughs>